Hey, hey everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to make a customizable countdown timer in Canva. Let's go. Now, before we get started in Canva, what you have to do first is go and create a Google spreadsheet. Now, this is really easy to do. You just want to visit docs.google.com slash spreadsheets and then go to blank spreadsheet. Now here, the process is also really simple. Just want to go here to this first column and you only need to type in the first two seconds that you want to have for the length of your countdown timer. So in my case, I'm going to go with two minutes and we're going to do that by going here, type in two colon zero zero. And then the next column we're going to type in one fifty nine. Now you want to select both of those cells, click here on this little side corner, and drag it. And that's all you have to do. Just click that corner and drag down and it will auto fill all the rest of the columns in one second increments. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So now all you have to do is go to file download CSV. Here we are in Canva. Now for the sake of time, as you see here, I've already started a design that I will be using for my countdown timer. The things that you want to keep in mind for this is that you want to have some text that you want to be the timer and then do your other designs around it and things like that. Once you make your design, if you use colors and not background uh, graphics or images, you can dynamically change the colors later on for different color schemes and things like that. Let's move forward now and get this dynamic countdown timer built. So what you want to do first is you want to go over here to the apps area of your side panel. You want to look for the bulk create app. So I'm going to do a search for that. And as you see here, here's a bulk create app. I'm going to click on that. And now it's added to my sidebar and it will be there for future use. So what I want to do now is go to upload CSV file and we're going to upload the CSV file that we made from our Google spreadsheets. And as we upload it, we see now that it has, it's a text file. Now the text that you want to be your actual countdown timer, all you need to do is click on it. I'm going to click off of it again. Let's click on that. Look for the three dots, click the three dots, then go to connect data and find the name of the file that you uploaded. Go back over here to your side panel and you'll see that it says continue. I'm going to click continue and now it pulls all the data from that spreadsheet and there are now page options. You're going to click on generate pages. So you have now dynamically generated 120 pages that are now ready to be your timer. Easy as that. Now, one thing that I wanted to uh, make note of is that as I noticed when I was making these different timers, it never started at the top number that I put inside of my spreadsheet. I didn't want to go back in and make a new spreadsheet at 201. It's easy to make that correction right here. So I'm going to just copy this first slide and paste it. Now, as you see here, I have two 159s. I'm going to go to the first one and triple click on that and make it two colon zero zero for the actual two minute starter. Now, before I take you to the final step, I wanted to actually talk to you about something else really quick. As you make your countdown timers, I suggest you make a maximum length countdown timer for what you would typically do. Say you have a five minute timer, but you want to have different varieties of it, like a three minute, four minute, two minute, Just have the maximum time limit that you want. Then you can always go here to your grid view of your slide sorter, click on that five minutes. In this case, it would be five minutes. Scroll down to four minutes, hit that shift and click, and then you can delete all of those and then have a four minute timer, then have a two minute timer, different things like that. So I suggest making the max timer first, copying that presentation and then going in and making your different time length for your other countdown timers. So you don't have to go back and make several spreadsheets. Just make one, then cut them down after that. That's my suggestion. So now let's go back to that first number here. And what we want to do now is add the actual duration of each slide. So it really only takes two minutes for your countdown to finish. So how we do that, we're going to click on this first slide here. 
we're going to go up here to your edit timing icon. We're going to click that, bring it down to one second, then apply to all pages. And now all of these slides have a one second duration. So as each number shows, one second will have passed. Let's go ahead and download this. So we're going to download this presentation, all pages, and we're going to make it a MP4 video. So once you download it, you add it to your live streaming app or your video editing software, and you're good to go. All right, y'all keep on creating, make some of those custom countdown timers, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.